You know, often we hear that residents should try to use their agency to push for change where they are. I imagine this is an opportunity to do exactly that. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Ayanda. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Good morning to you. And happy Easter morning day for all your listeners and viewers. Oh, yes, yes. It's time that uh, we really step up, stand up, and do something. The situation is going beyond uh, control. And uh, if we do not do the little, the little that we can, we are in for big problems. Not in the far future, but in the very, very, very close soon. This country is going to explode into serious trouble unless men and women of integrity, honest people, stand up wherever they are and speak up and try to change the course, the direction that our country is taking, particularly studying where you are. Small steps and going step by step, that's the only way. Mm. Always, every action by the people must start somewhere with little people. And that is how we are going to conquer this kind of a dangerous future that is about to engulf us. Yeah, and I'm told the movement is going to do that through a 10-point plan. We'll speak about that in just a moment. But given the fact that you're also intending to enter the fray in the local government elections later this year, if they do take place this year, where on the political spectrum do we place this movement? Well, look, I mean, uh, I, under, I have always been a pragmatic person. I have always been drawn into the struggles in times of action that needs uh, a people to drive a particular kind of program or project. I have never been a kind of guy that uh, is a theorist, uh, especially going on dogmatic theories, et cetera, of any kind. I'm more about what ought to be done. And now we are appealing to ordinary residents and citizens of this country, particularly starting with the Nelson Mandela Metro, we formed this movement called Abantu, meaning that the people, the integrity, we put integrity right in the middle, which you clever people call it, integrity is my middle name, movement. It's a movement, meaning that we are going to draw for this campaign, people everywhere to help to see to it that we convince the people, starting with the people in Nelson Mandela Metro, wherever you are, you're going to tell them that, do you agree with what aim for change is saying? And then they ask you, what are they saying? They say, no. Port Elizabeth have reached a point of total decay in every respect and aspect. And therefore, we need to mobilize in that area. All of us, call our relatives, call our friends. You don't have to go up and down in big buses and uh, uh, cars that are bought with uh, stolen, corrupt money and make a noise and bring celebrities to, to confuse our people. But what you're going to do, you're going to talk about the basic and fundamental issues which are going to secure the future of our children and the future of our country and the future of our city. And that is going to be done through the mobilization of people everywhere and in Nelson Mandela. When the elections come, people cast their vote in favor of aid. And we will tell you why we think it will make now, for the first time, yeah. that we've got people who are saying... If I can come in there, uh, Mr. Jack, I mean, we'll, we'll speak about your reasons just in a moment. I I'm wondering, how are you convincing the residents that this won't morph into any other political party that makes promises but struggles to deliver? Because in many instances, we've been told South Africa actually doesn't need another organization. We're not in short of movements or parties to change the status quo. What are you doing differently? No, 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 no. Listen, that is a lazy argument because, remember, 
we had people, <clears throat> excuse me, as you know, we all came through these organizations, especially the liberation ones. They carried their task so well up to a certain point. But when they allow themselves to be manipulated or decided to themselves to be manipulated, then the cause was lost. And there's nothing that you can do with them. They have been institutionally, institutionally uh, 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 broken down from a point of the moral values that we want to establish and to serve the people. That is gone from them, especially, of course, if you talk about the African National Congress, as you can see with the level of theft, now it is institutionalized. It's not a matter of individuals anymore. The entire system, the organization, and we are saying now we're starting from fresh with people that we know that most of them, all of them, are not people who are like that, are people, who, ordinary people, not politicians, not people who, who struggle credentials or anything like that, but ordinary South Africans who say that, okay, I don't have to have any credentials if I want to fix the potholes, if I want to build houses, if I want to keep the city clean, if I want to protect the environment, if I want to, uh, to make our people safe to go to the parks, to, uh, to, to fill the pools with water and clean them so that our children can go and swim there and to say, secure the, the community halls and the stadiums so that they are not broken brick by brick as it is happening now. And those people are here amongst us. They have not been given a platform. AIM is doing that. Mm. You know better than I do that the African National Congress started off as a movement. The intentions were clear. The intentions, according to many, were very noble. But as you have stated, the situation now leaves a lot to be desired. My question is, what checks and balances do you have within this movement to ensure it doesn't follow the same fate? Yeah, first of all, we've got a, a